Hello, my name is Professor Dr. Gerr Graus, OBE, and I'm the Global Education Director for Kidzania. It's quite a mouthful, the Professor Dr. OBE bit, but I'm very proud of it. So it's a great pleasure that on behalf of Her Majesty, I present you with the badge of the Order. And I'd like to offer you my warmest congratulations. Let's give him a round of applause. I've accumulated those titles over, over my working life. So I'm very proud to display them. Kidzania are cities built for children, two third size cities. There are 30 across the world and we're building another 20 uh, new ones. And uh, it's for children aged four to 14. In those places, children can learn about the world of work and they can do jobs. They can choose to do jobs and choose whether they like them or not and why they like them or not. And then they can find out how to get there and how to go on that journey. Uh, my career journey started uh, many, many years ago as a, as a teacher. I grew up and went to university in Holland and then moved to England for what was initially going to be one year. And I started teaching uh, at Tavram High School in Norwich. And then Five years later, moved to Winifred Holtby School in Hull and then to Manchester as advisor and then to Salford as inspector. And then I was asked by the government to be in charge of 30 schools in South Manchester in a, a partnership with Manchester Airport. This was in 1999. Uh, and following that, I was asked to set up a charity called Children's University, um, which is now a, a, a global charity i think it's in 11 countries and seven years ago a friend of mine asked me to become the global education director for kidzania so so my journey which i describe in a column which i have in in uh, the week junior the magazine uh, and i was asked to describe the journey and draw it my career journey and it was a uh, it was most certainly not a straight line and uh, and I think that's a good thing uh, and I think that in future there will be very few straight lines and I think that's a very very good thing too. In the current pandemic as it's called um, life's been a bit tricky out of the 30 Kidzanias globally there are currently still 28 closed although the two in Japan are due to open in the middle of June and then we will see what happens and and interestingly when i look back over the last 12 weeks all the things that we're doing now as a result of this pandemic are not new we were going to do them anyway we were going to have a better website we were going to communicate better we were going to have a kidzania online almost as the, the 31st kidzania if you wish. The, the main difference is what's happening is that we're doing things faster and probably in a slightly different order than we originally planned them. So, so I suppose what I can conclude from that is that good planning is always good planning. What events do is they make you perhaps change your priorities or the priority order uh, and they certainly make you speed up but they don't necessarily make you plan differently. And I think that's quite interesting. So in coping with this crisis, and no doubt there will be other crises uh, coming along in future, just as there have been in the past, that kind of fills me with confidence that what we're doing is quite good. We've got most things right. Uh, the lessons we've learned, we will write down and remember for next time. But I'm confident that when we reopen, when all 30 Kidzanias are open again and the new ones are built, we will be back absolutely and we will be better absolutely too. If I look and when I look back at my, my, my life and my working life, um, as a little boy, I, I loved my granddad. I adored my granddad. My granddad was a coal miner in the south of Holland and he had one job. He, he started that job when he was 14 and he finished it when he was 65 and, and that was it. And my father had two, maybe three jobs, but I think it was two. And, and as I explained earlier, I've had quite a few jobs and they've been quite different. They haven't just followed one line, 
but they've actually gone from teacher to where I am now. So quite higgledy-piggledy. Maybe I've had five, six or seven jobs. But the interesting thing about uh, my jobs of business, they were of my choosing. So, so at, at no point, touch wood, was I told to leave and go and find something else. I chose after a number of years that I wanted a different direction. Um, and I think that's an interesting one because I think I have, uh, I have three children. One, one is 24, one is 22 and one is 14. And I think their lives will consist of many changes either within the job that they've got, that the job itself changes dramatically, or that they will find different things to do. And what I'm very pleased about is, I think I'm right in saying that all three of them will embrace that. They will be confident. They're not afraid of change. And I think that is going to have to be one of the main things that we need to do in education and in schooling with young people is get them to look forward to changing things, being in charge of their own change, go and look for it, rather than wait to be done to and feel as a victim. And sometimes it'll be easy and sometimes it'll be not quite so easy, but almost always it'll be for the better. Uh, so my advice to anybody would be uh, keep an open mind and keep open arms in terms of, in terms of the change that will be coming and enjoy it. Uh, I think that's absolutely key. And and finally, a little bit of advice as well. In all my life, technology was meant to make life easier. And I don't think I've ever worked quite as hard as I do now because I have a job that uh, that is global. So therefore, uh, somewhere in the world, it is always the working day. And my emails are nonstop and WhatsApp messages and whatever else. And the bit technology hasn't done for me it's done many good things, but the bit it hasn't done for me is it hasn't given me more time. And I do think that when I look at my children, that the time will come where they will perhaps work four days per week or three and a half. And maybe that's of their choosing or maybe that is the way that our society moves. And I hope that education and schooling will also have equipped them to know what to do with that time. So that it is no longer just about full-time employment, but it is about full-time deployment. And that is about awe and wonder and appreciation and dreaming and aspirations and looking at an atlas and doing all sorts of things that will make us better people, that will make us enjoy our lives more, and that will get us to achieve a better balance between work and 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 enjoyment and not work and not that work can't be enjoyable of course i thoroughly enjoy my job so so that's it for me really so enjoy these days enjoy the event um if you want to find out more be in touch and um bye for now <laughs>